Hey guys, sorry I'm late to the party. Everyone's been saying, why are you not listening to Jesse on the So Dramatic podcast? Because I didn't know. I didn't know he was on So Dramatic because I don't listen to podcasts much. I always listen to music. So thank you. I'm going to say this. I don't think people are going to care. I don't think people are going to care. Whatever you say after Mass, they're not going to care about it at all. They only care with what they see on the television show Mass. They don't care anything after it. They don't want the real truth. They don't want it. And if you come out afterwards... People are going to say, oh, you're having a good old whinge. Who cares? Who cares? I've noticed it. I've got a video that's got about 350,000 views. And there's so much hate on that video about Jesse. I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked because I would never have thought that people would hate Jesse so much. I don't understand it. I don't understand any of it. It's funny because I have this friend and he's not just a, you know, toss away friend. He's one of my bestest friends. He went on a date he went on a date with a producer of Mavs and he said that they employ people who are narcissists to go on the show. They don't employ nice people. So that was in my head and I was thinking, oh, okay, is anyone on there that's nice? But I can tell there's quite a few people on the show that are nice. They're really nice. But this is what the producer said. Also, I know, I know that Claire knows and is friendly with one of the producers. I know this. This is why I'm pushing this hard tooth and nail. I'm pushing this narrative so hard because I know. Otherwise, I wouldn't say it. I would not say it. I'm not a gossiper by nature. I'm not. I don't just throw around comments that aren't true. It's not my personality. And I'm going to say it now, Jesse. It doesn't matter what you say. People do not care. I said things like, if you wife stay, all we have to work with is that it's Harrison's fault. Maybe they were guilt-tripping me. Yeah, I, I didn't really see it in the moment. I was more just like, what do you mean, Harrison? It's Harrison's fault. It's not Harrison's fault. It's Claire's fault. I knew they were just having this conversation with me to try and work me around to have me right stay. And, and, and Harrison, he's getting in your ear. Like, they're trying to convince me of what they already know they're going to play out in six months' time on air. They did portray you as a bit of a simp, not going to lie. It's like, oh, no, Jesse, like, open your eyes. Yeah. Well, so Germanic said to Jesse, you're looking like a simp on the show. I agree. But what else is this man going to do? If he fights back, do you know how terrible people will think of Jesse if he fights back? I've got a very good read on people. And he is so scared to speak. He's trying to not say too much bad about Claire. But he wants to. But he can't. Because if he does, he's going to get crucified. She's only here taking me on these dates so she can make up, so she can backpedal, so she can recover. It's not because she likes me. It is not because she wants to build this relationship with me and see where we can go Like once the show finishes. It's not. It's whatever she can do to stay on the show. I feel like I was a pawn in the game of maths that is tilted to no matter the circumstance, Claire will always win. No matter the odds, she'll always come out on top.